Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to Running With My Mind. It's Wednesday night, first week of November. It's dark, it's cold. Um, I am in my first week of being fully vegan and that's what I'm going to talk to you about this week. The, um, the ups and the downs, all the truths about it, the bits I don't warn you about. Um, I'm on my way to Wednesday night run together group. I am dressed like a total running wanker this evening. I have a reflective headband on over my visor. I've got gloves and thumb holes, London Marathon reject top. I'm fully running wankered up and I'm a grunt, grumpy, hangry, uh, cheese detox crazy vegan as well now. So I guess I'm a grumpy vegan uber running wanker. Take that society, this should be fun. welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about my first 10 days as a full proper vegan. Um, so if you don't know me I've been vegetarian for the last year and a half and I felt some physical improvement from that um, but I've still had quite a lot of health issues recently. Um, I do struggle with inflammation, regular muscle pulls, knots, um, migraines, lots of stiffness and tension, anxiety, lots of mental health stuff as well. Um, so I've been trying to find ways to improve my overall health and um, I don't think you can really separate body from mind either so I'm always trying to consider both at the same time and the only thing that I hadn't tried was going vegan. Seriously, I've done everything else. I've tried uh, following the advice in the racing weight book, I've tried keto, I've tried paleo, I've tried years ago, I tried Atkins, South Beach, I don't know, everything in between that you can think of, um, as well as working out a lot. Um, recently I've sort of come to come to realise that you can't outrun a bad diet, so there were always, I guess, things in my diet that, even when I was dieting, things that still weren't good for me, things that I had intolerances to, that I was just kind of ignoring because I liked them. Um, cheese is a really big one there. So eventually, <laughs> uh, at the age of almost 38, I think I've had a word with myself and eventually realised that I can't keep ignoring my gut, uh, which means two things. One, my gut intuition that I kind of knew I needed to give up dairy, and two, my gut in the sense that I was always struggling with GI issues and there was nothing left in my diet you know I tried eliminating everything else the sun's just come out in the middle of <laughs> recording this and so now I'm all bright uh, sorry about that um, yeah I couldn't I couldn't ignore it anymore the only thing left that I hadn't eliminated or tried eliminating was dairy so um the, in the last 10 days I've been fully vegan um I just want to tell you a few things about it that some have been like things that you'll hear everywhere like you feel lighter and you feel cleaner you you know GI issues clear up and you become more regular um, but also there's a really surprising thing that I didn't know was going to negatively impact me um, I guess you'd call it well some people call it cheese addiction it's a bit of an oversimplified term to call it cheese addiction but you might have heard that cheese has um, an addictive property I hadn't actually heard of this until I just stopped eating cheese 10 days ago and then just turned into a mega bitch. Like, I could, it got really hard. Um, I was I was grumpy, I was short-tempered, I had no sense of humour, I was tired, I had brain fog still. And the most alarming thing that happened, and this was just day two of being vegan, I went to Sainsbury's, which is my local supermarket, um, and I was just walking about doing my shopping and I suddenly got this awful pain in my left shoulder. And I do get shoulder pains. I mean, that inflammation related muscle stuff that I have going on all the time, particularly in my shoulders, that's not uncommon for me. Um, but it was really bad, like really sudden, surprisingly so, that I had to just put the basket down. It was too much. And then came like chest pain and back pain and headache and everything at once. And I just felt so bad that I actually called Andy and said, can you come and help me come home from the supermarket? Because 
I'm a complete mess and I don't know why. Um, so Andy had to come and get me and help me carry the shopping home because I was just in such a state. Um, I didn't know what was wrong with me. So I went home and I, I was thinking, well, you know, the going vegan is supposed to reduce inflammation. That felt like a massive inflammation flare up. What's going on? Is this one of those detoxes where things get worse before they get better? Um, so I asked Dr. Google and then I also asked my boss who is a doctor and yeah, so casein, uh, the one of the proteins in cheese that's present in, well, one of the proteins in dairy rather that's present in cheese uh, in the body when you metabolize it produces casomorphines. Um, so these are chemical compounds that fit exactly to the opioid neuroreceptors in the brain. So you become addicted to it. It fills that gap just like an opiate drug would. Um, so it might sound a little extreme to compare. I, I've heard since then, since I've been Googling it, I've heard some bloggers and vloggers comparing cheese to really hard street drugs and stuff. Um, I think that's a little bit extreme, but there is a there is a chemical thing going on in the brain when you give up cheese suddenly. So that's what it was. I was in casein withdrawal and that's why I was grumpy and I had inflammation and I had pain and I felt like crap. Um, but after after a week, I think I pretty much had come out of it. Um, so it's day, I'm halfway through day 11 now of being vegan. I've been, training wise, I've been for a couple of runs. I went to my usual Wednesday night run club and I was a bit nervous about that because, well, as you saw in the introduction, I was worried that I'd have no energy and I'd be hungry because I'm only just settling into my vegan diet and I haven't quite found the right, you know, what's the right amount of food, what's the right mix of different protein sources, what does my body want? So I'm still figuring that out. So I was worried I'd be hungry and grumpy and have a sense of humour failure in the middle of our interval session, um, but it was fine. I got all the way through it, starving when I got home, but I, I finished and it was fine. Um, Saturday went for my usual group run with my local running club and then went to the gym afterwards and just did a quick 30 minute core class with, with a group there starving afterwards. I went round the corner out of the gym, round the corner into Holland and Barrett and just grabbed all the vegan treats I could find and just stuffed a load of bad junk vegan food in my face because I was so hungry. So yeah, still figuring out the nutrition, still settling into it. Um, I'm trying not to go too extreme and go from eating the slightly junky, averagey diet that I had before into Scott Durex meal plan. Like I'm not quite ready for that much fiber i think i would give myself really bad gi issues if i went from middle of the road diet to extreme plant-based whole food crazy full-on health food and it might it might be a bit of bit too much of an adjustment so i'm going gradually i'm at the moment i'm still letting myself have treats as long as they're vegan so lots of those um peanut butter cups that you can find in holland and barrett's um ella's kitchen stuff uh, oh, those are all really good. Vegan chocolate is really good. I was really pleasantly surprised. Um, vegan cheese, I'm not so in love with. There's got there's less flavour and the texture's a bit strange, but um, yeah, but it's not bad. It's really not bad. Iggy's come to join us here. Just see her here, hiding in the corner. So overall, I feel like um, moving to vegan has been a really good thing to try. Um, I'm yeah, I'm saying try and people keep asking me, is this permanent? Are you vegan now? Um, I feel like probably I'm, I want to give it a really good go for a few months and see how I feel. Um, I'm not 100% married to it yet. I want to make sure that this is the right thing to do for me and for my nutrition and for my health. Um, but I suspect it is. I hope it is because I feel like I've tried everything else already. But I suspect this is going to be the right thing for me. Um, because I'm already feeling improvement. Now that I'm over the first few days, which were a bit bumpy, um, I feel lighter in myself. I feel cleaner. Um, I did in the first few days feel like, like stuff was leaving my body. I felt like I was having a detox. Um, without being graphic, um, I was taking more frequent trips to the bathroom. Um, when I slept overnight, I must have been excreting the ick because I wake up in the morning the first few days with really greasy skin. I felt like I'd been like sort of excreting stuff through my pores. <laughs> Bit gross, but 
that's you know that's honestly what was happening um that stage has passed now i'm feeling a lot cleaner in general um also i had this really good dream on the eighth night of veganism i dreamt that i was flying and it was and it wasn't quite a lucid dream in the sense that i didn't know i was dreaming and i wasn't controlling it but it was a really cool dream and I woke up like, wow, I was flying. Um, so that's good. So yeah, don't know that's vegan related, but I like to think it was. <laughs> that is a very naughty cat on the TV pointing the wrong way. She's not meant to be up there. I'm gonna have to deal with that. Iggy, get down. Get down, Iggs. Get down, Iggy. So not only did she stand on the TV, but she just switched it on with her bum. Pretty talented. You're pretty talented, aren't you, Iggy? Can you say hi to YouTube? Hi, YouTube. Oh, God. So yeah, that's um, that's really all I've got to report so far. Um, given it a red hot go. Really hope it's going to be the right thing for me to get my health back on track. Um, I managed earlier this year to burn myself out with too much training and not enough looking after myself. So. I hear that vegan runners tend to heal and repair faster, so fingers crossed that there's something in that as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it, nothing else to report so far. Um, it's ten and a half days in, so it's very early days for me, but I'm hoping to have some improvements to report soon. Um, hopefully a new PB and an increased sense of energy and wellness and maybe even a little bit of weight loss, that would be nice as well. Um, next videos up from me are I'm going to try and record Run in the Dark on Wednesday, although it will be very dark, so it might look a bit rubbish. We'll see. And then I'm out again on Saturday at the Fulham Adidas Runs 10k. So I'm on the water station for that. I'm not running, so I'll have my white visor on. Um, if you see me, come say hi. Um, I guess I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.